Uh, Don Jing here, DG bans out the puck. Pretty common ban. Dragon bans out the OD. They did not enjoy playing into the OD last game, I guess, because it definitely tore them up mid to late game. Oh, uh, they definitely tore them up early to mid game. The Mars. DG bans out the Mars. Mars is definitely some good team fight. I didn't see it last game, although it is a pretty common um, hero to see. It's good team fighter, fairly solid laner. Mars is definitely a solid hero to play. And definitely a solid hero to pick. And you can pick around. Nyx, uh, Nyx is another, he's really good in the meta right now. He is a fairly strong hero, but he's also really good against this very high int hero, uh, meta that isn't currently in place. Earthshaker, DG really liked their Earthshaker last game, and I can't blame him. He played really well, secured several key kills for him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, English is, your English is good. I mean, the, even... Most people, I, I don't even use commas when I'm typing in a Twitch chat, so you, you're better at that than I am. But yeah, no, English is good. Structure is all good. Yeah. It, you, I did, like I said, the only thing I had mix up was just because the word, which could have been autocorrect, so I wouldn't even able to tell that you hadn't been speaking or that you're fairly recent to it. Oh, Tusk, good initiator. Um... I'm guessing this will be a Nyx 5 if that's a Tusk. Uh, Lycan. So they do need some... Hi there, and uh, welcome from Cancun. That's a little bit closer to where I am, but... Yep, yeah, welcome into the stream. Uh, we're in game 3 of Dalanjin Gaming versus Dragon here. They are tied 1-1 one to -one at the moment. Uh, Lycan pick, though... Dragon needs to counter. They need some sort of wave clear or uh, summons clear to really get to deal with this like, and otherwise he can be quite troublesome for him. Um, Dragon doesn't seem to have wanted to play into. It is yeah, the Russian one is actually um, the official cast. They have several of uh, quote official cast which are in the game like in the lobby so they see the game uh they see the game live like as it comes in so they're ahead of me i the the replay on dota that i'm watching is about 15 minutes behind the actual game um so yeah it, they they are ahead by around 15 minutes uh, Underlord, Tide, TA, Death Prophet bans. Uh, the Prophet and TA got picked earlier. And I guess those aren't, they aren't huge fans of those on the side of DG. That doesn't play in their strategy. I'm not sure what their strategy is at this point, but they don't, that doesn't seem to play into it. Underlord and Tide, both of those are good at clearing out waves of people and creeps. So, makes sense to ban them out when you have a Lycan. Yeah, no problem. I, yeah, but like you said, I was just explaining it. If anyone else doesn't know, the they do have the official cast, which you'll see like a Russian one, and I think there usually is an English one. Not always though. Um, they have several languages though, and they are quote I say official. They're sponsored wherever, so they're in the lobby with the game, and they see the game live as it happens versus my situation where I'm watching on Dota TV. So I'm about 15 or so minutes behind the actual what's actually happening in the game. Uh, Timbersaw here. Um, yeah. Timbersaw is just a solid hero in general. Really sec can really secure your mid game pretty uh, early to mid game for you and let a carry come in late. I speak for the trees. Nature's Prophet. Okay. That's why they banned out the Timbersaw, I guess. Uh, you also got an Oracle ban on Dragon that I didn't mention. That save. Yeah, that save can be really troublesome for a Lycan keep someone in a fight pangolier is some decent uh wave clear for or creep summons clear i guess is the proper term for the lichen so that's a little bit of a solution bat rider pick 
Um, that can be... That's not great against the Lycan. He's okay, don't get me wrong, but can struggle against those summons for sure. It is Radiant's man. Uh, Void Spirit Bayon. Yep, that Void Spirit has an easy escape, which is something bats do not bat riders do not like to play into. This Grimstroke is a good target for this bat rider though. So same with Nature's Prophet. Even the Earthshaker isn't too bad of a target. Uh, Lycan is a bit of an issue though. They're gonna have to address this Lycan. Thank you very much, uh, Jay Sebastian. I guess I'll call you Sebastian, since I don't. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Um, let's see, who did they ban out here? They ban out the troll. Uh, the troll didn't seem to very be very effective last game, although it would be good with the lockdown this game. So I can see why they'd pick the they ban out the troll. On dragon, I think you ban out a high mobility hero. Um. Possibly, well, actually, maybe more of a tanky frontliner, because you don't really have an offlane yet, I don't believe, for DG. So maybe someone who can be kind of that frontline tank. Oh, they banned the Morphling, so they did go the mobility route. They don't want that highly mobile hero, and Morphling's a strong carry for you later. So on the side of DG though, who do they ban out? I think they ban out. Uh, I don't think Dragon has an off laner. Uh, Pango Pangolier would most likely be the off laner. So that may or may, may not. Uh, I think he will most likely be the off laner though. So you will most likely see a carry last pick. So you'll probably see, I think a DG will probably ban out some sort of carry. Maybe a PA. A PA could be a little bit troublesome here, blowing up your Grim Stroke and uh, Nature's Prophet. Uh, or you'd actually need some sort of creep clear too. So we'd have to see, really, to see how how they plan on playing this out. Who's some other good uh, summons clear? Because this Treant and Lycan are going to be a lot of push. You might see a monkey ban, actually. Monkey King wouldn't be too awful this game, I don't think. Nope, they ban out the Terror Blade. Uh, they seem to be pretty scared of the Terror Blade, because it's been banned out twice. Even though I don't think it's that amazing of a Terror Blade game, they have banned it out twice. Um, on the side of Dragon, you need... You need something... Maybe not. Alchemist, as strange as it sounds, and I do think I even think it sounds strange. Nope, okay, they did take the PA. So I, th I said that earlier blow up your Grim Stroke, Nature's Prophet, build Battle Fury naturally, which will get solve that summons problem. So PA is the solution. Um, there aren't any great MKB builders for DG here either, so we'll have to see how they plan on dealing with this PA. Uh, Dragon doesn't have a whole lot of frontline either, especially against this Lycan. They, they don't really have anyone who can tank against all those summons and the, the damage coming in. We'll have to see. Um, I do think it might be a Nature's Prophet offlaner and that you could see a mid here. You don't have a Prophet mid. Uh, maybe some sort of magic blow you up type hero uh storm spirit could be interesting we've already seen it once they don't really have great lockdown for it on the side of dragon other than the bat uh but as soon as you, the bat lassos you he can just zip away although storm spirit is a bit soft so it's not a fantastic pick into this pa uh ember's another one although ember's a little bit more reliant on having a remnant out although 90% of the time you do have a remnant out anyways oh they go jug so they go a safe lane so it'll be possibly lichen mid maybe profit mid although I don't see that one happening very much uh, I think it's more more likely a profit off lane lichen mid jug safe we'll have to see though yep SSS carry that's not a surprise PA was really the only option there 
XYZ took the Lycan. He's the off laner, I believe. Bang is the safe lane. And YRG is the mid lane. If I remember that correctly, I believe XYZ is the um, off lane. No. I think I have that backwards. I think XYZ is mid, YRG is off. And then Bang is the safe lane. So we'll have to see how this goes. And overall, Jug is a good MKB builder. Um, I think I favor DG here. Uh, the, that early push will be really a really big issue, and until PA gets some items, she's not going to be able to deal with those summons like she wants to. So I think it'll be a, an issue for Dragon to deal with all those creeps and summons from DG. We'll just have to see how it plays out, though and see who gets the advantage early. There we go. I was like, I'm not sure why it takes so long for these to load in, but it, for some reason it does. Dev Ice on a five game win streak. Uh, SSS on here. Um... Oh, that's right. I was like, he didn't play Rubik in the last match. That is, uh, public matches that doesn't take in consideration these tournament matches we'll go to last hits here um it could actually be a pangolier mid and bat lane uh bat rider off um generally i don't it's okay i mean it, there's no there's nothing wrong with that configuration i just generally you see a bat mid but it could very likely be a bat rider off lane I, I think i forgot to mention that earlier jugs down here uh they will see each other there's the sticky napalm level now jug has battle or blade fury P yeah it looks like pa mid or i just can't speak it looks like Pangolier mid and a bat rider off lane. Bang might be a bit. Uh, he can just blade fury out of it, so I don't think he's too worried. There's the stun. Nope, they're just gonna force him under tower. He's not gonna get this rune. Although it looks like they will still go two and two, as there are three people from DG top, keeping this PA out and away. Uh, will she try the blink play? She does. And she actually snags the rune. Well played by the PA. Snagging that rune, making it go 3-1 the way of Dragon. Yeah, they, they definitely tipped that, the PA there. They, t they tip SSS there because that was a fantastic play, blinking in and stealing that rune. Definitely looked like it was going to be a 2-2 two two trade there. So, Dragon takes the early lead in gold because of that sneaky steal by the PA bottom what are the lanes looking at Grimstroke 5 uh the wait yeah Grimstroke 5 jug mid or jug safe it is a profit mid okay profit mid lichen off generally you don't like to see the uh, lichen off lane just because he needs a bit more gold than most off laners but it's not like unfeasible XYZ is doing pretty good. Third shards. Oh, he's trying to stop this lane pool, but it does not work. Uh, Dev Ice here on the Earthshaker will pull the lane probably right in here and then stall out, pull the lane, the creep wave up to about here or reset it at here. I can't remember where it'll set up exactly. Actually, he just does it to deny the range creep. Um, no couriers getting sniped. Uh, I'm not sure if this was Bangs doing or if this was Rio here. But they do get the lane pulled all the way back here behind Radiance Tier 1 bottom. Uh, I had that on the wrong thing. So last hits and denies. It is a Pangolier mid. So Pangolier mid, bat off. Um... The lanes were not like I guessed. I uh, I was predicting a Nature's Prophet off lane and a Batrider mid. I guess they just flipped those. 
I had those flipped around. Lane starts to stabilize right here in front of this bottom tier one. We'll just have to see how it goes. Um, overall, I think Bang should be okay. This Juggernaut should be okay in securing farm. He shouldn't be too hotly contested. Uh, this Nyx and Bat Rider isn't super strong, and if he ever gets in too much trouble, he can just Blade Fury, and then the stacks where uh, the stacks are gone, and Bat Rider doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Tusk is setting up here. He doesn't have Snowball though. He's just gonna poke at Dev Ice here on the Shaker. Oh, they might. They do get that. They do get the block. Dev Ice is gonna die here by the look of it. Yep, first blood goes to SSS on that PA, killing off the Shaker, the Earth Shaker here. SSS, uh, yep, looking for those wolf kills, although he's getting a bit low. He is getting a bit low here. I think she'll be okay though. Need to be careful. Shaker can come in and stun. They could kill off this PA. Dev Ice was looking to interrupt the pool, but that is not going to happen. Uh, Grim pops his ink swell. Or no. Yeah, ink swell. I did say that right. I'm not super familiar with Grim Stroke, so I'm not I might miss names on the abilities at times. Uh, bang, he did spin, I believe, to get off the stacks when the Bat Rider committed the uh, Firefly there. Does manage to get that last hit on that creep. There's a big rotations mid. Uh, Pangler actually got the bottled rune, which is pretty good for him. Most of the time you see it given to some position 4 rather than the uh, the actual mid. Rio, um, no, no mana on the Nyx to really do anything. He does have a stick, but he has no follow through if he does use Impale, so no play is going to be made. Uh, the pool is mostly successful. Does get one creep through, but overall mostly successful. Pango is getting those kills on the Treants of Nature's Call, of the Nature's Prophet here. Well done, he's gonna, oh, no, he doesn't, he does deny one range creep, but Pango manages to secure the other one. Uh, the bat's actually up a level, this Nyx has not been in lane a whole lot, so, does have a full level advantage almost over, over the Jug here. Pretty annoying lane for the Jug, to be honest. Um, he can get out of, he doesn't have to worry too much about being killed, because he has Blade Fury, but... He also um, does need a little bit of babysitting because if they do manage to go on him before he can get uh, before he can get spin off, there's not much that Jug can do to stop it. Do they get the kill here? The free pathing of Firefly is going to save the bat. Fissure ends up blocking. Actually, they make a move mid that I missed. Um, I was expecting a kill bot, and it turns out I predicted wrong. The Nyx rotates mid, gets the stun on the Prophet, and Pango ends up finishing him mid. Let's see, this Pangolier, yep, Javelin first item, nothing weird about that. They might get a kill top here. XYZ is getting pretty low, the Fissure does separate them. Uh, a lot of damage done on, on PA there. XYZ rotating forward, although, will get stunned up. Do they get have the follow through though? It looks here, so creep wave is not here. Does have the follow through. Four, uh, yeah, four heroes right here at the top. Got two kills. Well done for DG there. Nyx is still sitting mid. Um, I believe he is inside of that tower. I could be wrong on that. Actually, see. Okay, Nature's Prophet does not know Nyx is here. I don't believe. Uh, roll is committed. Yeah, you're. Your trees aren't going to save you there. They get the kill on the Prophet again. So even though uh, PA and Tusk died top, Dragon returns the kill on the Prophet mid. Thank you very much, Tony Trant. Yep, yeah, Tony Trand. 
Thank you very much, Tony. I appreciate the follow very much. Uh, a little bit going on bot. The spin is used though, so this jug needs to be careful. There is still lasso. Yep, there it is. Lasso in as soon as the spin is done will be a kill in the jug. That pretty much secures the lane for this bat rider. Uh, I don't think jug will show back up in this lane. If he does, he will most likely die once again. PA is here. She's farming. Okay. Tusk comes over to give her a little bit of assistance. He actually has the second most last hits on the team, outlast hitting the Nature's Prophet with his two deaths. So at the moment, it appears Batrider, Jug is going back, but he doesn't feel too unsafe as of yet, at least. Uh, the Batrider is now just going to start cutting wave, though. They are looking to make a move top. Pango came top, but they you do get the stun, so the roll is canceled. Um, but SSS might pay. And SSS does go down. Uh, Tus does as well. Pango is still here, but no no silence. So he's going to go down as well. That's a huge triple. That's a huge turnaround for DG there. Because it looked like Dragon was just going to take their one kill and get out. But they did not. They, uh, they turned it around. And now they're going to push this top tier one. And with all this push here with Nature's Profit and Lycan, it looks like they will take it. Looks like the Prophet will take the Prophet and Lycan will end up taking that tower, and they do. The PA has been relegated to jungle farming. Not having fantastic farm. Uh, should have okay timing on the uh, on the on the Battle Fury here, but lost the lane fairly hard, I would say. Uh, at least they lost their tower really early. You do need to be careful of that though, that is one of the big issues facing this dragon team is they don't really have a great way to counter this early game push that DG has to offer with the Nature's Prophet and the Lycan. Uh, they're turning it around, the roll is out, looks like they will secure this kill, one more hit, yep, and the Tusk gives the kill to the Pangolier. You do have three heroes sitting right here by the Roche Pit but it doesn't look like they're going to be doing much. PA's farming top. Uh, no one's near her. Jug, they look to be making a move. Vendetta is on. Jug does not have vision, so he doesn't know that the uh, that the Nyx is here trailing him. About half the Vendetta time is left up and going at this point. Uh, Nyx even made sure not to block the camp. The Bat Rider is on the way over with Lasso. Nyx, um, certainly, there's the stun. And, well, he doesn't have spin available because he used it to farm. That's a that's a mistake. Oh, but he does get on me slash off. Will he take anyone with him? No, he will not. Although, the TP's in. We'll save the jug. He, he did use on me slash, but he does now have blade, uh, blade Fury up. Looks like he will be safe. He's also building Battle Fury. Um, bit of a misstep, I would say, by Dragon there. Although they did force rotation, so that is the job of the offlaner most of the time. And that is what they did. So, I would say it's a bit of a misstep, because I do believe they could have secured that kill. But at the same time, well done on the side of Dragon forcing those rotations. On the side of Bat and t uh, Nyx. You have these Necrobook creeps. Um, you have oh, Necrobook 2 now on the Lycan. He's doing fairly well. He should have this by about 15 minutes, I would think. The Faded Brooch is found by Pangolier. Prophet. There's still not more towers down. I would expect two uh, Tier 1s to be down at this point. But that's not the case yet, at least. I just have to see YRG. Let's switch over to net worth now. I like to switch over about 10 minutes into a game. Generally at that point, last hit, last hits are not as important. Uh, they have a smoke play going for Dragon. Earthshaker is sitting there, although they don't see him. Uh, there is a scan, but they find no one. They are going to rotate bot. Looks like they're going to go after this Prophet. Although, will Prophet be there when they get there is a question. 
completely misses the swashbuckle and then cannot roll gets off the tp that's another blunder by dragon um they missed the jug kill that is questionable on if they could have got it but i think they could have but then that is just a mistake and a uh, that's just a mistake on the side of dragon there there's no other way around that one Earthshaker's sitting here in the trees doesn't look like he's gonna have any reinforcements although there is some going on mid Yep, this is the, the the big push coming in from DG here. Gets the double stun on the two cores. Uh, the leash is out. Soulbind is out. They'll take this mid-tier one. Not do anything with the Soulbind. This is not looking great. Uh, actually, they get the kill bottom. I didn't even notice that. The, the Earthshaker went on to this Pangolier solo, I believe. Uh... Prophet did TP in, I think, to silence, but overall, it was a large amount of damage from the Shaker. They managed to get the kill on the Grim here. Not super surprising, since it is a Tusk with the Snowball onto a Grim with no escape maneuvers. PA's come bot. Um, she needs to be... Uh, not, she doesn't really need to be careful. The... He had, doesn't really have a great counter to her at this point. Once he gets Bloodthorn or something... Or if the Nyx is around with Vendetta, or actually Nyx is on Dragon, my mistake. But once he gets Bloodthorn, it could be a risk, but at this moment, there's not a huge risk uh, to the PA. She's just going to get some farm, although they are tearing down this tower really quick. That's a lot of damage coming out from this Prophet this early. Um, also has some good armor, 39 damage. There's a big fight going on top. Do focus on the PA, maybe killing bot. They will not get this Grimstroke, or will they? Nope, no Snowball available, although Bat is in the back here. They do get the kill on the Pango, and the Grimstroke does fall a little bit slower than they'd like, though. Um, YRG gets blocked. Nature's Prophet gets blocked. I don't think Tusk is making it out of this. Dev Ice is right on his tail. Uh, there's Fissure, although Fissure missed. And there they go. They get the kill. Uh, it was an okay fight. Uh, a bit of a long, drawn-out fight. And it split about even, too. Yeah, they both lost two. Um, you did lose the Jug, though. So, in that term, in that sense, I would say Dragon came out on top. Since the PA was farming that whole time while the Jug died. Yeah, it does now have Battle Fury. Really good timing, in fact. Jug, um, we'll have it in like 20 seconds or so. Probably even less. But, PA is slightly ahead in farm. Because Jug has the exact same items as her. Uh, actually, no. PA went for a Wraith Band, too, so... Uh, actually, those are about equivalent cost. So, they do have pretty much the same net worth. Or, item-wise, at least. And that's a huge amount of gold going the way of PA. You do not want that. They do get the kill on the Pango mid. But PA does get the kill bot onto this Nature's Prophet, which is not good. She's starting to hit hard. And that's exactly what is uh, not wanted against this Prophet and uh, Grimstroke, in particular, at least. She is going Deso next and then BKB. So pretty standard PA build. Nothing too out of the ordinary. They were trying to Roche. They get the lasso onto the Grim. Uh, Grim's just going to sit up there and burn to death. Very slow, painful death. Uh, there's a fight going on over here. They will get the Tusk kill. The Shaker does take it. Dragon. Um, looking okay. They still keep trading one for one, though, and I think it favors Dragon as long as his PA keeps farming. Oh, there's a big Echo, and they kill the Nyx. Although, here comes the... Yep. There you go. The Shaker gets destroyed, and more gold the way of PA. The Pango is silenced and stunned. Maybe they get the kill? Uh, yep, they do end up getting the kill. He crits on him. There's a lot of damage, and they get the kill in the Pango, so that does end up favoring the side of GG there. Yep, 
favors them. Get the two kill. If the Pango could have gotten out of that, I think they would have been okay with that fight. Especially since a lot of gold went to the PA in the death of the uh, Earthshaker since he was on a killing spree. About 500 gold. I believe. 400, sorry. 400 gold. But next, they do know they have vision here now. You have no stun from the Silence Nyx. Um, although they will certainly de-ward that now on the side of Dragon. Uh, Prophet went mid. Your Tusk is here. Gets the punch in, although there's no follow-through really. No one's nearby, although Panko is coming in. Misses the Swashbuckle. And it looks like the Nature's Prophet's just going to get away. Just going to walk out of there. What is, uh, building Yules on this Nyx and... Uh, a Yules on the Pangolier as well. Oh, that excellent Fissure blocks it. Uh, he does get Tag Team off, although they missed the... I still think that's a missed Swashbuckle, to be fair. Needs to be careful. It does have a stun. Misses everyone, though. They get the Leash on... Or they... Yep, Bat Rider just walks away. They do get the kill. Another... More gold the way of PA. Uh, Lycan needs to be careful here. Yep, all those creeps are gone. Okay, Battle Fury is doing work. There's Lycan. Uh, Omni Slash is used. Gets the double kill. It's huge. Good job from Bang. PA needs to be careful here. This Jug is pretty scary. Uh, use that Swashbuckle. That was a bad use of Swashbuckle. They are going to 1v1 this. No, Jug's trying to get out. Although he has no Jug, or he has no spin. And PA gets the crit and kills off the Jug. A lot of gold the way of PA. That's a really good fight for her. Really good for Dragon in general. It's a long, another long drawn out fight there too. Tons of evasions. Uh, that's only 45% evasion. She's just getting pretty lucky there. PA is very fat right now. They do end up killing her finally. 613 gold the way of Earthshaker. Which is a big amount. Really good for him. And this Bat Rider is just going to kind of troll the Earthshaker. Yep, there he is. Uh, he was not getting away, that was for sure. Although, did he have TP? No, he did not. Okay, they de-ward mid on the side of GG. Lycan does not have his ultimate at the moment. I think he just played a bit slow. Let your jug farm as your jug is currently 2k gold behind, 2.5k gold behind the PA. Although Profit is making up that difference somewhat and keeping it relatively low. It is still not super amazing. Uh, one second off the lasso. Almost had it. Bang here. Uh, going SNY, no Manta. Um, here mid, they're going for the light, they're going for the Roche again. They tried this before, and that was right before that fight, long fight mid. Uh, we'll have to see if they can get it though. They are tearing it down really fast. Um, and Dragon will either not know or not care because they're not making a move mid. No moves made mid, and they get this, they get this, uh, Roche and move straight top. Into the jungle to farm. Has Aegis on the jug here. Looking to push top, I would expect. There's a fight going on mid. Tusk looks like he will die. He does die. Lycan doesn't even bother going after him. There's a lasso mid. They will get this. Yep, there it is. They get the nature's prophet mid. Uh, Nyx will die in return, though. So not a great trade. Uh, PA needs to be careful here. She is not invulnerable. Oh, she does jump in behind that. Uh, actually, Bat's fire, uh, Bat's fi flame break here ended up messing up the. No, no blink away. And Omni slash onto the Bat, so Bat ends up dying. Terrible fight for Dragon there. You lose the Tusk, the PA, the Bat, and the Nyx. The only one who survived was the Pangolier and. Uh, they are looking to follow through. They will get the Tusk again. That's Tusk two, died twice that fight. It doesn't show it. So technically, it's a little bit after the fight was concluded to be done. But 
2k gold to DG there. And not a good fight at all for Dragon. They, in fact, they lose their mid tier 2 out of it. And you can push really hard. I'm surprised they're not pushing other lanes. Uh, they're just not pushed in enough to take those. Or I'm sure you would probably see this tier 2, the top tier 2 gone and the bottom tier 1 at least gone. Actually, I'm not entirely sure why. What is this profit at? Uh, he doesn't have Nature's Call, but if I were him, I would just TP in here and take that tower. It's maybe three hits away from dying. Especially with how much damage he does. We have a Bat Rider down here. Possibly expecting something to be there. As she is, she is just, or he is just spamming uh, sticky napalm, napalm all around him. Love to see though. There's Lycan Wolves here. Bat does see that now. Um, blinks in, fla uh, uses Firefly to kill the creep wave, and then farms some camps. Okay, nothing too interesting there. This Tusk PA combo can be really good, especially if she gets a crit off. That's a it's a big bonus. Um, it's, it's 100 extra damage on a 450% crit, so that can be 450 extra damage. Massive Echo Slam there, absolutely huge. Uh, they get the they get the PA, they get the Bat Rider, they get the Nyx. Uh, Pangolier is rolling away, hoping not to die. They do end up killing the Tusk over here. And the Pangolier makes it out. Uh, he's just going to go push out bot. They do buy back on the Nyx to stop this mid push. Because like I said, that uh, that Lycan and Nature's Prophet push is just a little bit too much. It's uh, really, really difficult to deal with. The Shard is another thing that's difficult to deal with. It makes it quite annoying to play against a Earthshaker. Oh, Bang almost dies there. Almost loses Aegis. Actually, it looks like he will. Yep, there it is. Looks like he was willing to sacrifice himself there. He's will come back full mana, full HP. He also has Omni Slash, so I don't think they're too worried. And you have no real follow through on it. Oh, they do get the lasso. But the stun's there. There's Omni Slash, and the Pangolier is dead. Pangolier also has no buyback. They will back out off on the side of DG, though. They do respect this PA. Um, PA is still a bit scary with Deso Battle Fury. She does need uh, she does need the BKB here before she can do a whole lot though. What does Jug have at the moment? He's almost completed MKB, which when he does that, it'll be huge for their fight against PA. Because right now she is still pretty scary, and they really need their spell casters like Grimstroke and Earthshaker to bring her down. Nyx is walking around. You just be careful here. Uh, they don't have any vision, but he doesn't necessarily know that. It's, neither does Dragon. DG or Dragon neither have vision in this jungle. Bat, um, they're not looking to make any moves on the side of DG by the look of it. Prophet's actually mid. But once again, actually there's four, there's four Dragon. Four members from Dragon going bot. Possibly something will happen here. Uh, Lycan used to be a little bit wary. He is quite tanky. Does he see? He does see. But there is no blink. Um, doesn't even. Oh, he doesn't even have lasso. So he's not gonna. He's just gonna poke at him. Although, um, yeah, Pangolier is on the case to defend that. They did take some hits on their top tower. Bottom is almost dead their bottom tier one's almost dead but the rest of the lane has been untouched um bottom is definitely not a high priority for dg here although jug is coming back in farm those last few fights have really brought him back into the fray and almost equal to the pa she's still slightly ahead by about 200 gold um but the nature's prophet and there's the lasso they get the kill, but they also, they trade actually. They get the Lycan, but they give up the Tusk. Uh, Pangolier is here. He is rolling. I would go for the secured kill here on the Grimstroke. I wouldn't try and 
extend yourself too far there, Pango. She dies. The Grimstroke dies. And ends up being a decent win. Uh, yep, 2-1 to one favors Dragon by actually 1,000 gold. That's a lot more than I thought it would be uh, with just those two kills. But the Lycan ended up being quite worth it. Yep, 412 gold. Uh, Grimstroke actually wasn't too bad either at 279 gold. See, Jug does have Omni Slash and NKB up. Just poking. But you need to be a little bit careful there, Tusk. He, if he turns on you, you don't really have much way to stop him from killing you. Especially with Snowball used like he did. Um, Nyx going by. There are, uh, GG is staying pretty well grouped now as they get two picked off in that short period of time. Okay, Tusk is here, but no one's behind him. And he's gonna pay for that little that little taunt. Jug. And yep. That was not a smart play by Tusk. He should not have blinked into that. And he ends up dying for it. It's actually the lowest net worth in the game right now. How is Tusk even doing? Uh, 5, 10, and 7. He's contributing, but he's also feeding quite a bit. Oh, I say that. Pangleer's died 7 times. Uh, who's... The only ones... Oh, what's going on mid? There's the Omni Slash. Uh, Yules save. They're going to try and kill this... Nope. Jug's just going to run out with the Lycan Agonims on him. PA. Oh, crits on the Earthshaker. Gets that kill. They kill off the Grimstroke. Lycan's just going to run away. Uh, Jug is down bot. They, he's not even worried about this. Lycan just gets out. You don't even lose a set of racks for that, though. I'm not sure if that was entirely worth it for... DG there. That seemed to just be kind of a throwaway because they didn't do any damage to any buildings. They just ran in and lost their two supports. Dragon, uh, you got a Gleipnir? Gleipnir? I think it's Gleipnir on the Pangolier. Batrider, Boots of Travel, Ghost Scepter, Force Staff, Blink Dagger. Um, Ghost Scepter is definitely good this game. As they aren't much magical damage on the side of DG, uh, with Lycan, Prophet, Jug, even Earthshaker all favoring the right clicking. Let's see what Grim's got. Ghost Scepter, Medallion, he's going Solar Crest. They end up getting a kill. Who was that? It was Bot? Yeah, I think that was Bot. 600 more gold the way of PA, though. That is pretty massive. They keep. They keep feeding her these kill streak, these kill streaks, and it's definitely fueling her farm. She's got Aghanim Scepter going Basher into Satanic next. There's gonna be a fight top. Um, no. Oh, he does bite. Uh, not lucky on the crits. Although the lasso comes in and saves the PA. PA was not being lucky on those crits. Uh, actually, they'll end up getting the kill on PA. Big kill. Looks like Batrider will die as well. And no Firefly to get away. Although, just walking away due to the Pango roll, keeping this Lycan at bay. Um, not sure how this fight will turn out. Oh, there's the ultimate. They kill off the Pango. Surely Tusk will die. Uh, you have Sprout. It does Sprout. Misses slightly, although it looks like it trapped him in here anyways. And huge win. Or I should say huge fight for DG there. Uh, that ult, that um, Juggernaut being bitten, the, the wolf bite here, really made him very, very dangerous to that PA. Almost took her down in three hits. And she's not that super tanky hero anyways. We have Gleipnir, although uh, I guess that's the lockdown for the Lycan. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Does You don't have Lasso available. You just kind of sit on top of this Earthshaker. Shaker. Oh, Shaker takes the racks with him, though. 
Well done by that shaker. Uh, smart play. Knew he was going to die. Decided, okay, I'll just walk in here and finish off those racks. If I'm going to die, I'm going to take something with me. PA still sitting on top of farm somehow. Uh, she did get multiple kills that fight though. So and they another thing is they keep feeding her these kill streaks, and it's just it's a big issue. Uh, you, you can't keep feeding these kill streaks to the PA. This Grim will definitely die here. No TPs even to come bought. They will take the outpost. Uh, doesn't do anything for him at the moment though. Going into Roche. Only two of them alive, though. That was the Grimstroke pinging it. They do know that the Nyx is here. Yeah, they are not going to try their luck. That would be a bit of a bad play to try and take this Roche um, with only two of you alive. You could do it. They, they are strong enough, but they're going to try and bait out this TP. Nope. That's it. He dies. And the Pangolier actually goes and starts on the Roche. So PA and Nyx, the rest of the team will come join him, I should say. Let's see this. Uh, you do have Earthshaker and Lycan set up. I think the Nyx saw the smoke. He did ulti on the Lycan. Nyx just got 10 seconds. Uh, okay, so the Earthshaker jumped in and ended up killing the Roche, Roshan, but... The PA kills him almost instantly and then snatches up the Aegis. So nothing lost on the side of Dragon other than a little bit of gold. Although the PA is not really hurting for that at the moment. Oh, they got a kill top. They kill off the Grimstroke. Nothing too surprising there. Grimstroke is just very, very squishy. And if he gets caught out, there's nothing he can do to escape. Uh, they're not going to push this top tower. Pretty much... They've taken every other set. Nope, there is still a mid tier 2. I didn't see that. They did finally take the bottom tier 1 on the side of Dire. They will take the mid tier 2, Radiant mid tier 2. And then TP back here. Uh, she does have level 25. There is no ulti on this Lycan. Get the kill on the Lycan. Prophet had to go mid to defend. Is that Juggernaut's going top? Got lots of TPs around the map. Lots of movement at the moment. There you go. See, Jug has Basher, Battle Fury, SMY, Monkey King, Bar, and Power Treads. What is this Prophet? Prophet does have Bloodthorn, so that's a big counter to the PA. Although she can just pop BKB and get over it. Also has Shivas, which is also good against PA and BKB. Uh, doesn't do anything against PA. Looks to be a fight mid. They end up killing the Prophet, the Nature's Prophet here. The Grimstroke will get out, at least for the time being. Um, nope. There's the leash. We'll die on the Prof on the Grimstroke. Oh, there's the ultimate. Takes two in combination with the Earthshaker, stunning them up so they can't just run away. And that was the actual Omni Slash, not... Oh, I thought he had Ags. He does not have Ag and Incept here. He did have it queued up at one point, I believe, but does not have it. Uh, you do have a Basher on PA, just it's in the backpack because she has Aegis. I would be a bit scared if I'm DG here, though, because this uh, PA can blow up pretty much anyone on your team, especially with Omni Slash down. I don't know if even the Jug could man fight her. Um, they are signaling. Are they going to smoke play? Does have a smoke on the Grimstroke. Uh, no smoke on... Nope, they're just going to walk into the triangle. PA is here, though. Amazing what you found in and she'll... She won't get the burst. Oh, they do get the kill, though. PA needs to be careful. And the... the <laughs> Earthshaker Fissure actually ends up saving the PA. For the moment, at least. Um... It looks like it will save her overall, and do they get this Jug kill? They do get the Jug kill, and no buyback on the Jug. They will be pushing this for sure. PA does tons of damage, eats through everyone, even with that wolf fight up on going. You can't man fight her. See that fight recap? 2k gold, over 1,000 gold to the PA. 
huge amounts of damage. Yeah, six, almost 7k damage done that fight. Massive amounts of damage coming out from PA. Uh, I'm wondering if they will split push this or try and do a single large push. I'm not entirely sure. It looks like, nope, bottom is being stopped from pushing in. So they're just going to push right into mid. Um, I do not know if, let's see, is it, okay. So they don't know if the jug has buyback or not. So they're just going to push this tower and most likely take these racks and then probably rotate down bot. As, like I said, they don't know if Jug has buyback or not yet. They get the leash onto the, or the lasso onto the Grimstroke. He dies. PA jumps forward. Might blow up. Yep, blows up the uh, Nature's Prophet. Although, Nyx does get the credit for the kill. PA sitting here hitting the tower real hard, real fast. Definitely going to die take these racks and then yep they're already pinging out bot they're gonna rotate bot 20 seconds on the jug uh yep they're starting to walk that way dragon's gonna walk down bot and hit this tower take it her t pa's team is gonna sit behind her she does have aegis say that the bat rider does jump forward does have bkb but you need to be careful with this jug up now especially with omni slash he can pretty much burst anyone who comes up Although, PA can just hit Blur and get out of any Omni Slash. There's Aegis, so they need to back off, and they immediately start heading that way. Or no, they don't. They get the stun up, and they get the kill onto this Earthshaker. Uh, get the stun up. Will they... Jug is farming. He's not even here to defend. He needs something. What is he building? He's building Basher or Abyssal Blade. Um, they will take these set, set of racks. PA does too much damage for this uh, backdoor protection to really stop her. Jug is coming in now. Does he have Abyssal? He does now have Abyssal. There it is. Spins. Hit. 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 Uh, okay. Got Wolf Bite off. They do not see, or do they? You guys are playing a dangerous game here. SSS though, sitting here, baiting out, most likely looking for these back, these supports here. And, oh uh, no, oh yeah, there's the Grimstroke. Oh, the Omni Slash gets bounced off of SSS though, so. Uh, Nyx is dead, the Bat Rider's dead. They, uh, Nyx buys back, Bat Rider does not have buyback at the moment. Looks like Dragon's just going to reset as the Tusk and Nyx both buy back. They don't want to be too greedy with this, too hasty. Otherwise, they might throw the game here. PA currently does not have buyback, although she is going to finish uh, Satanic into Booster Travel 2, level 2, however you want to say it. What is the actual official name of it? There's bots. Uh, Boots of Travel 2. Pretty unoriginal. And your silence is not going to save you there, Prophet. She just does too much damage. Got the jump on him, and Prophet dies. Gets blown up. Penta Edge Sword. Will she take the leveler? Will she take the leveler? Or. She does take the leveler. She does not take Penta Edge Sword. It's a PA. She doesn't need more damage, to be fair. There's 16k ahead on the side of Dragon. Um, I'm not sure where it went wrong for him, but if we look at the win percentage, it, it really swung the other way hard in favor of Dragon here in the last uh, 10 minutes or so. Net worth, they were ahead a little bit. Not crazy. XP-wise, they were a little ahead. They were never super far ahead, but definitely looked like they were doing quite well, and then it swung the complete opposite direction. PA is here, gonna take this tower for sure. They have one set of racks left. Um, you do have a battle for your jug, so I don't think megas are that big of a concern. Unless you have a Grimstroke who does have decent wave clear and Earthshaker who can also clear decently. Oh, looks like there's gonna be a fight top. They do get Wolf Bite off onto the jug. If he dies here, he does die here. That is. Uh, they they don't know he if he has buyback or not though. 
So we'll just have to see how this goes. PA just walking forward. They do not dare challenge her. And they kill off the uh, the Grimstroke here. Does he? Uh, they know he doesn't have Grim. Uh, doesn't have buyback. Huge Echo Slam, but not much damage. They do end up killing off the PA though. That's a massive kill. Good for their hold. Do they get the kill? They do end up killing the Nyx. No, that's a dieback on the Nyx. Shaker does end up dying though. That's three dead on the side of uh, DG here. Supporting say EG. That's the wrong region. DG here is dead. If this Prophet dies, that is a dead Prophet. He does have buyback. Does the... The Lycan does not have buyback. Does make it into the base though, so he will survive. It's a huge deal. Ends up making it out 3 for 3, although without your PA, I'm not sure if you really want to stay. Yeah, Prophet's much more of a threat than either Bat or... Oh, they end up chasing and getting the Tusk, and that's a dieback on the Tusk. Uh, Pango does have buyback, but I don't think DG can really push off of this all that easily as no all their creep waves are pushed, in pushed into their base, pretty much. Um, yeah deep into radiant territory for the most part they will go push down mid if they do i think they will look to end although pa is up in 25 seconds you can't possibly end they might secure roche uh no they don't even head towards roche i think that's your best bet try and get your juggernaut uh roche get in roshan and then pray that that's enough to kill off this pa again Bat Riders here with Firefly going. Juggernaut's here too. Knows she was through here, but doesn't know how long ago. Lycan does see Bat. Uh, Bat's not too concerned about it though. PA's up. Need to be careful though. If she does get picked off there, it could be really bad news. Oh, they get the wolf bite off. Oh, there's the stun. They get the Omni Slash. They kill off the PA. PA has no buyback. She did not have buyback available. That could be GG. Dragon could have taken it right then and there. Or just thrown the fight, I should say. They will back out. Pango buyback does scare them off. Or the Nyx... Or, sorry. Batrider buyback. Nyx did just respawn as well. Although, I don't think they're too scared of him. Uh, if they knew that this PA did not have buyback, that would be a huge deal. Although that's one of the beautiful parts of Dota is that you don't know if the enemy team has buyback or not. They'll take Roche. They'll go straight into Roche. Nyx is here. Get the stun. They end up killing off the... They destroy the Grimstroke here. Uh, Nyx, Aether Lens pop. They kill off the Lycan. Will he buy back for this Roche fight though? As it is four on three at the moment. I don't think you buy back. I think you save your gold. It's not worth it. Oh, he gets the stun off the... Oh, Jug, you're caught out. Does not have Omni Slash, and in fact, does not have anything. Although, you don't want to man fight this, which is exactly what the bat was trying to do. Nyx also looking like he will die. Nope. Prophet doesn't want to chase. Uh, so they go... Although, it does cost him a Lycan buyback. Yes, it does. I saw that. It's a huge deal. That is a pretty costly deal for uh, DG there. I keep wanting to say EG or IG. Those are two other teams, though. DG there, huge. That's a pretty expensive uh, fight for them if they had to waste that buyback, as no one on their team has buyback at the moment. Not a single one, I believe. I'm just going to double check my statement, though. Uh, you do have a Shaker buyback in a minute. Yeah, and you have a Grimstroke buyback in a minute and a half. But neither of those heroes really do what you need. You really need the Lycan, Prophet, or Jug. Jug specifically, you need that buyback. Up oh, there's the Lycan ulti. Gets the stun off. Uh, Dieback on the Lycan. That might be GG. There is an ulti on this. Uh, nope, no mana. He's just going to have to keep hitting. Still no mana. Oh, they get the PA. He doesn't have buyback either. Needs a thousand gold. That might be it. If they challenge it is the real question, though. 
Uh, we'll have to see. They'll go right back to Roche because they are still fearful of this PA buyback. They do they they do know that it's available. They just don't know if she has the gold or not for it. PA really really needs to get this gold for this buyback though before the next fight because she will respawn. They aren't going to be able to take this Roche and then push high ground in the same in the next 60 seconds. But definitely a scary scary fight there if PA does. If PA does have buyback. I think you feel okay dying as dragon. I think you feel okay as dragon, but in the sense that it was, PA did not have buyback, and uh, it's pretty disastrous if they just decided to go down mid. Although no one on, yeah, no one on DG here has buyback either. Yeah, uh, actually Shaker might now. Uh, doesn't have the gold for it, but does have it available. Grimstroke is the same way. Okay, looks like the Juggernaut's wanting to go push top. Let's see, there's a Penta Edge Sword for for the Dire. PA's gonna stick with the Leveler, which isn't a bad idea. She needs the attack speed more than the damage. Um, honestly, there's no great heroes on Dragon to really take that. Big kill. Uh, Nyx isn't a massive kill. Plus, has buyback. Yes, he does. Penta Edge Sword is available though if the PA wants it, although the damage is not needed. Damage is not necessary for the PA. Still 1500 gold away from buyback though. No Omni Slash though, that can be scary. And he can't spin TP out. He's gonna have to man fight this. That's one life. Uh, he should live through to get, a, to get Omni Slash off. But if he, unless he kills this PA, it won't be enough. There it is. Oh, but it hits the wrong person. Although that was, yeah, that was Omni Slash. That's a terrible Omni Slash. Terrible luck for the Jug there. Um, he needs to be very careful. That's a 140 second cooldown. And they get the Earthshaker, who they probably believe has buyback. A uh, little gold away. But the Shaker's really not all that important to this defense. The the important ones are definitely Jug, Prophet, and Lycan. 1600 gold the way of Dragon here. Dra does now have buyback on the PA. Finally has buyback on the PA. Gets the stun on the Prophet. Prophet does not have buyback. Although is getting real close. So they might... Uh, might be up before they get it. Although he doesn't have the gold for it, so either way, Prophet is not going to be back in this fight for 90 seconds. You've got Grimstroke here. Solar Crest is finished. Um, what is this jug? What is this? Is final build? He does have Penta Edge Sword, but to be fair, this jug really needs uh, really needs some luck. If he can get on this top of this PA and get that. Omni Slash to actually hit her enough would be a huge deal. There is Nyx. What is Nyx's plan here? Has Gem of True Sight. There are little to no wards on the map at this point in the game. There's an Ags on two. And do they get the double kill? They do. Uh. They did, in fact, use Echo Slam, although there's no buyback available, so that is most likely why. Jug cannot die here. He does have he does have buyback, though, so that's not a huge issue. Not a super big worry, since he does have buyback, although you're going to lose Meg. You're going to give up Megas here. There's, there's no choice about it. Your four Lycan Wolves are there. PA is going to take out this Rax. We have one hit. Not sure what Bang's plan is here. They, they need some sort of a miracle at this point. Bang, stunned up. Gets off the Omni Slash. Uh, doesn't jump back to the... Does not jump back to the PA, though. Nature's Prophet is down. Does not have buyback. That's GG. There's no buyback on the... 
What? He bought out. What did he buy out for? Did he buy out for a BKB? Because he bought out there and did not have buyback available. Although, I don't know if it really done much. Anyways, Dragon takes the victory of the series 2-1 to one over DG there. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid to tell you there that it, it, it didn't work out for you. Your bet was lost. I'm afraid, Sebastian. <laughs> if you're still there, I'm afraid your bet was lost. But, good series. Very competitive. That last game especially. Incredibly competitive. Let's see how much damage this PA did. It has to be astronomical. 70,000 damage. Knicks did 60. Wow. That's a lot of damage for the Knicks. Um, and then you had PA with 70k. Jug, 102,000 damage. Lycan at 71. Oh, that's received. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, damage dealt 66k damage for the PA. Uh, 59 for the Jug. It's still crazy good damage. Crazy high damage. 55 for the Pangolier. 33, almost 34k for the Nyx. 38, 39 for the Bat. Uh, 17 for, or almost 18 for the Tusk. Good game, really good game. Um, enjoy, a joy to watch the series. But as I said, Dragon did end up taking the series 2-1 to one over DG. Fantastic games, fantastic series. Definitely a joy to watch. That is it for me though. I'm just, that, that's it. <laughs> I'm done. I appreciate the follows tonight. And if you enjoyed and you haven't already, please consider following uh, and we'll be back on tomorrow night casting another series. Let's actually go see who we will be casting. Spider Pigs versus versus Burgery. Burgy. Uh, that is the game we will be casting tomorrow night. No, that's tomorrow morning for me. This is it. Extreme Gaming versus Dynasty is the game we will be casting tomorrow night. That is a lower division game as well. Uh, hopefully that'll be a good one. I have cast Dynasty before. I have not cast Extreme, so that'll be a new team to watch and enjoy. But like I said, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. That is all for me tonight. Have a good night, afternoon, evening, whatever it is. Have a good one. 